That's right, Jeremy. We are crushing it. Guy Williams received a nomination for Most Outstanding Show, a huge achievement considering there are 700 festival shows. Ursula Carlson took home the People's Choice Award, filling more seats than any other act, a whopping 30,000 tickets. And look at this rising star, Kiwi deadpan comic Ray O'Leary, who scored a nomination for Best Newcomer. People think going to see the sunrise... <laughs> is a good way to see nature. Uh, it's not. The sun is not up yet. <laughs> My friend asked me what I thought of the sunrise, and I said, oh, it reminded me a lot of yesterday's sunset at 6 p.m. <laughs> As we said, back from Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Yeah. Obviously, it went well because yeah. I hear you're moving there. Why are you turning your back on New Zealand? Oh, um, thank you for the uh, fair and open-minded question. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't want to be um, one of those Kiwis, you know, who goes overseas and then comes back as like, oh, everything's better overseas. So uh, I'm not. I was going to say I'm not turning my back on New Zealand. You know, New Zealand is always going to be, you know, Plan B to me. Uh, <laughs> It's really special. Yeah. And obviously, um, like, really great things happening over there in Melbourne for you when you did those shows. Was that sort of a way of, like, refining what you're going to do for the New Zealand Comedy Festival? Um, yes, yeah, making sure the show's sort of at its worst for New Zealand is sort of what I've really refined. I know what the good bits are now, and New Zealand will not be getting it. <laughs> <laughs> there are heaps of yeah. Kiwis over at the Melbourne Comedy Festival. Did you hang out in a pack, or what was the story? Yeah, no, that's, yeah, exactly. We did what any New Zealanders do when you get overseas together. You know, we hung out together during the day. You know, after our shows, we'd have a drink, we'd do a racially insensitive haka. You know, basically, <laughs> anything, you know, basically whatever you do when you're overseas uh -huh. together. You, you were nominated for... Best Newcomer, is that right? Uh, yes, yes, yes. How did that go? Uh, well, I lost it, so thank you for bringing that up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Best Newcomer <laughs> again. That's what I'm hoping. Now, Ray, we know each other. I've gigged with you for quite a while. Yes. I did not know that you have a Masters in Philosophy. Yep. My question for you is, because I honestly have a diploma in photography, but I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Why comedy when you could be doing so much else for so much more money? Mm -hmm. uh, are you not aware of how well the philosophy job market is at the moment? <laughs> This was genuinely a smart career move. For me. <laughs> um, do people get like quite overwhelmed with the sheer amount of energy that you have when you walk into a room, Ray? Um, yeah, and this is not even my full. I'm at an eight at the moment. Oh, this, yeah. is, yeah, this is not even the full. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of like a like a sort of a, a methamphetamine. Can, oh, you, well. can you go to ten for just a second? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, you're from Whanganui? Yes, I am, yes. Proudly from Whanganui. Um, um, yeah, I, yeah I, well, I am from Whanganui, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which actually has a proud history of arts. I don't know, is there much of a comedy scene? Um, there is There is actually now, a, there wasn't a comedy scene when I started in Whanganui, but now there is um, a bunch of newbies, you know, a, a scene has recently started to develop and started to grow, which Great. is really nice to see, but it did happen after I left, and it's sort of hard not to take that personally. Right. Um, but, yeah, they, they've been going, and they've been going really well, and there's some really great gigs down there. And you had a job, too, before you took up comedy, didn't you? What, what did yeah. you do? Yeah, well, I used to, yeah, I did used to have a day job, and I quit because, you know, everyone said I was the funniest person in the office. Right. Um, but before I left the funeral home... <laughs> uh, no, 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 I used to um, be a policy advisor at the Department of Corrections. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> But that explains, you know, where I get you know, my sharp wit from. You know? Also, it's good to have a co comic on that side of the Department of Corrections for a change. Yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's true, absolutely. Um, well, you can see Ray live. He's at the New Zealand International Comedy Festival. Catch him while you can in this country. He's in Auckland and Wellington. And the ticket details are on our Facebook page. And while you're there, by the way, go check out the Comedy Festival website where you can see everyone who's performing. There's so much <laughs> great talent for you to catch. But for now, please thank Ray. Ray O'Leary!